so lovely. So today is day five of the Awaken Your Fearless Confidence Challenge. Can you believe that it is day five? I kind of can't. This is, I've been planning this for a while. So it suddenly seems to have just whizzed past. Mind you, it is pretty much the middle of June and equally 2019 is whizzing past as well. So today I want to enable you to reclaim your confidence. I've been seeing some of the conversations and obviously I've been talking to some of you in the group, seeing some of your actions. Remember to get your actions in. I'm going to talk more about the prizes today as well, because you can start to make a change, feel better, start to boost your confidence, see the areas of your life that you want to improve and start moving towards those goals. And I've seen some of you starting to do that. And it's really nice to see. It's really heartwarming, really, to see the change that you can get from just small little steps we've been taking each week, what well, each day. The, the videos have been 17, 18 minutes long with one particular thing we're talking about. And if you just watch the video, you know, like and comment on it, that's for your prizes. If you like and comment on it, you're engaging with it. So you're starting to take some of it in. You're listening. You're like responding. Yeah. The more you respond or you write things down, it goes into your subconscious mind. It really sticks so that you can recall it at a later date. Then if you take the actions, the actions have been super small. So day one, I'll do a little recap. Day one, we covered calling bullshit on your life stories. So it's all those stories that we tell ourselves. And I was talking to Hayley about this in the group via messenger yesterday so it's the i'm not good enough i'm not confident enough i'm not sociable enough i can't do this i'm not that etc etc we can identify them as bullshit unnecessary we don't need those and start to move ourselves away from them and flip them and start seeing the more positive alternatives so i can be more confident. I am what I am. I accept myself. I trust myself. It's about that inner acceptance and that, you know what, this is who I am and that's fine. And whatever you're comparing yourself to, realizing you don't need to do that. So that was day one. So day one's action was to like and comment on the um, video, day one's video, and then post in the group with the hashtag Facebook challenge day one. I know some of you have done this already was the area of your life that you want to build more confidence in so like I was talking about my body confidence year last year where I just kind of blossomed into myself again I'd done it when I was maybe 23 and then again last year I was 31 so it was like a reboot and it was a real deep dive and there was a lot of stuff that came up and I had to get rid of and my confidence around my body image completely changed and some of you will have seen that on my social media because there were lots of pictures and I was posting a lot about it kind of vlogging or whatever you call it posting pictures and writing about it because it was something I was going through and encouraging other people to do the same so that's day one Day two then was identifying what you view as confident because each one of us have different opinions on what is confident and what confident people look like. So I wanted you to like and comment on day two video. Then in the group with the hashtag Facebook challenge day two, put a picture of a person that you look at and think, wow, they are just confident to a T. So I gave the example of Beyonce. I did say you can use real life people as long as you check with them that it's OK to use their picture in a group or they're in the group and you talk to them. That's fine. Otherwise, use a celebrity that you admire for their confidence and also for you to think about how does it feel or how would it feel to feel that confident? What would that be like for you on a day to day basis? How would your life be? How different would it be to where you are now? So that's what I really wanted you to take away day two. Day three was the toolbox of goodies. So it was to like and comment on the day three video and then in the group with the hashtag Facebook challenge day three was to write one thing that you're going to commit to yourself as a self-care action. So I gave the example of like getting your nails done, massage, facial, having a bath. You know, if you're a busy mum and you've got loads going on, having a bath is a big deal, right? Getting that time to just relax by yourself in the bath without everyone else needing something. It's making that time. It's really Put in that time in your diary, whether it's in your phone or like a paper diary and blocking it out for you. So then I posted on Wednesday that I then gone and got my nails done. So that was my like self-care time, you know, without people needing me to do things or needing to do some work or thinking, oh, I'll check this. I'll do that. It's my time out just to go, you know what? 
I'm going to give myself back some self-care because the more self-care you give yourself, the more self-love you'll build naturally because you're giving yourself time, affection and love and then you will feel more confident. So that was day three. Day four yesterday was all about accountability. So it's recognising how you think about yourself, how that impacts your life, how you can create your life and the thoughts that you think will turn into experiences. So day four's action was to like and comment on day four's video. And then what was day four's action? Accountability. Can't remember. Can't remember off the top of my head. Go and watch day four video and you will see the action for day four with the hashtag uh, Facebook challenge day four. Oh, it's good. oh, I know what it was. It was to post an image of what a part of your life that would be an ideal part of your life. So I know that was it. Anne Marie, it was Anne Marie posted a picture of um, someone on their laptop with their dog by the side, looked like a sofa or a bed. And she was talking that she wanted to be able to work from home. So that is an ideal part of her life, right? She wants the freedom to be able to work from home and do as she pleases and be on her laptop with her pets and it all be nice and lush at home. And it's working towards that goal. So I want you to identify an area that would become your ideal. So perhaps it is working from home or going on a particular holiday or having a car or a certain look or whatever it is. It could be material or spiritual. Yeah. And post the image with the hashtag Facebook Challenge Day 4. That was bugging me. I'm so glad I remembered it. I hate that. I forget things. So that's the recap of all the days. So day five really is about giving you that boost to go and take those actions because I really, really want you to go and take those small actions each day to see how much they can make a shift because I've seen it in the comments already, you know, like, oh, I'm really starting to think differently about things. Yeah, it's inspiring. And it's really nice to see because it's making you think differently to how you're thinking right now. And then you can go and make shifts in your life. Really what I want, I want you to recognize that you have the ability within yourself to be as confident as you want to be. It really is. What limit are you going to put on yourself? Where are you going to say, no, that's too much? Or are you just going to go full out and be the best version of yourself? You can work up to it. You can just go for it. Whatever personality you are. Like I said yesterday, I'm more of a sort of like, I'll work up to things. Yeah. Mother half, he's a go for it. Go all out. One to the other extreme. I'm a sort of like a gradual person. So I've been working up to it. Like I said to you, you know, when I was 23, I had a boost of like, yeah, this is who I am, body image wise. And then last year, again, I just, what I just turned, yeah, I just turned 31. And I was like, hang on a minute. I'm still carrying some of this old bullshit about what I should look like, how I should dress, you know, I should have this and that. And what's fashionable at the moment when it comes to look. Sorry, I'll whisper it. I don't need to carry that stuff around with me. I am perfectly happy in myself and confident in myself. And then as you'll see through the imagery, if you look back at some of the images from last year, that did come out. So you're more than capable of stepping into yourself and stepping into the life that you want. And really what I wanted you to recognise throughout this week is that you can make significant shifts by small movements. It doesn't have to be like, right, I'm going to up and leave. I'm going to pack. I'm going to move to the other side of the world. Everything's going to change. You can do that. It doesn't have to be that extreme. It can just be changing your mindset. So yesterday I was talking to you about for the next seven days, I'm going to check in with you guys next Thursday and make sure you're doing this. For the next seven days, starting yesterday, every time you had a thought that was a bit negative, I wanted you to recognize it, hear it, let you hear that part of your brain that's telling you these negative thoughts, because if it's not being heard, it's going to shout louder. So hear it like you would a child, you know, hear it and then respond and choose your response to be. I hear what you're saying, but I'm choosing to think differently and spin it to a positive. And even if it is like your thought is I really lack confidence. So then you don't feel confident enough to flip it completely to go. I am totally confident. You can go, OK, I hear you. You feel and you're talking to yourself. Yeah, you feel like you lack confidence. Well, we're going to change that. And I'm going to trust that I can feel more confident. You can adapt it. You know, day three, we were talking about affirmations and toolboxes, a toolbox of goodies that you can turn to when you need a boost. So there's lots of content over these last four days. And I'm just briefly recapping everything here because I want to encourage any of you that haven't yet go back, watch the videos. It'll probably take you max an hour to watch all four because they're roughly, maybe just over, they're about 15, 20 minutes each. Take the actions, like and comment on the videos, do the actions. They don't take long, they're small. The point is they're small, so they're not going to take up too much of your time, but they're going to make you think differently. They're going to make an impact on your life to go, oh, hang on a minute. 
she's got something there's something true about this you know she's got a point and see the difference because I want to encourage you to live the life that you actually want to be confident to be fully you because if you're not then what's what are you doing you know why are you letting yourself feel sad unhappy not fulfilled constrained restricted what's the point there is no point you don't have to yeah you can choose to feel differently and like we said on day one there may be people around you that are uncomfortable with that but they will adapt and just keep going with it when you feel confident and strong in yourself you keep going people will see you know what she knows what she's talking about she may seem really different but she knows what she's talking about i mean can you imagine my parents when i turned around at however old it was and i was like oh okay i'm going to be a crystal healer and they're like right so you spent five years at uni to be a crystal healer <laughs> actually yes because i studied anthropology so it's super relevant because you know i all went off to talk about tribes and stuff and they were like right now what five six years later I hear through the grapevine that my dad's always talking, oh, my daughter, yes, she knows everything about crystals and all this. So they change. It took a while and it, you kind of have to deal with them. They're a good way to deal with the negativity of the outside world because they'll come to you with it first, potentially. My mum's very, very encouraging. She's like, oh, that's very nice. Yes, good for you. And has always been. But there will be some of them that are a bit like, really? Like what? And if you can feel strong enough in yourself to say to them yeah you know what this is what I'm doing this is who I am this is how I want to live my life because this is my life yeah this isn't anyone else's life this is mine I'm in this body I'm living this life and this is what I choose then they will feel your confidence like I was saying to you about the body image you know it's not the size the shape the color the look there's trends there's going to be fashionable things you know like flares were in in the what 60s 70s and they came back a bit last year didn't they or something I don't know you know trends go round in circles but it's the confidence that people have so when you're looking at models it's their inner glow it's their like yeah you know what I'm rocking this body whether it's a size 6 or a size 26 I'm rocking this body and it's that that you feel you may have opinions on how people look but that's an opinion the energy you're getting from them is how they feel about themselves equally a size 6 to a 26 if they're like oh my god don't look at me because oh no oh and they're, all they're doing is thinking about their insecurities thinking oh my gosh they're gonna look at this look at that that's what you're gonna see you're gonna see someone that's lacking in confidence that's like trying to hide themselves away be bold be proud you don't have to go out there going hi everyone i'm not an extrovert you i don't know some of you will know me I'm not a massive extrovert. I am actually quite introverted. I am expressive and excited and passionate about what I talk about. But in a social setting, I'm more of a watcher. I'm an observer. I studied anthropology at uni for five years. Of course, I'm an observer. I watch from a distance, learn, take it in, and then like interact. Really, that's who I am. But you know, in this arena, this is my arena. I love what I do. I love promoting people empowering people to feel better in themselves i've been through this journey i'm still on my journey you know we're all still on our journey it's not like oh woohoo i'm at my destination life is a journey in itself but i've been through some nasty bits of horribleness that i've learned from that i've pulled tools and resources together and it's worked for me so which is why i then want to enable to share that information so that it can work for you too so sorry i went off on a tangent See, I have notes for a reason because I will just disappear. So let me talk to you about the prizes. So I've been asking you to do actions all week and I haven't told you any of the prizes. So the first prize is I'm going to pick them all randomly. So I'm going to give you the weekend and I will call it on Monday or Tuesday. Let's do it Tuesday. It gives you Monday as well in case. So if you've not had time yet to recap all the videos, you've got time. We're on Friday. What day is it? Friday today. So you've got until Tuesday morning. I will come on, I'll go live and I will put all of the names into a pot of everyone that has done all the actions for the five days. Well, four days, you haven't got any actions today. And then I will pull them randomly. So first prize is going to be a deep dive session with me. So a one-to-one -one talk about what you really want, who you are, where you want to be. And I will do as much as I can in that one hour to really boost you to feel like, yeah, you know what? I can go and do this shit. I'll have the that firing me now to go and succeed so that's the first prize second prize is a little pack of crystals as a one of your toolbox goodies to put in to 
come out when you need a confidence boost. So you've got two prizes and I will call them on Tuesday. So you've got time to go like and comment on the videos, take each day actions, the tiny actions, like I've said, but they're very powerful. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about, just I touched on early bird offers. So I've got a course running that I'm launching this weekend. It's the Awaken Your Fearless Confidence course. So we've touched on little bits this week. It's a whole big boom boost of lots of information, resources, meditations, exercises. I'm super excited because it's all the best bits that I love put together. Any of you that have been to my physical workshops and done any of the personal development workshops with me will know how these go. So you'll get homework. Yay, because homework will make you action it. And I will check up on you that you've done it, by the way. That's the only thing I'm strict about, making sure you do these things, because I want you to benefit. Yeah, if you're going to invest in something, I want you to get the full benefit. So you're going to get homework. You're going to get guidelines. You're going to get exercises to do. We're going to do some meditations. We're going to give you resources to completely adapt yourself to feel, you know what? I feel like I am who I really want to be. I feel reborn, revitalized and ready to step up as me into the life that I want. That's what I want for you. So that's the course. There's three options with the course. So I'm not going to go into the course information here because it's not going to be for everyone. And you've really got to want to make a change in your life. You've really got to just think, you know what? I'm fed up with how things are now. I want it to be different. And the only way you can make that different, thank you for the love heart, is to really take accountability like we were talking yesterday, stand up and go, I'm going to make that change. Because trust me, I've done it. You know, I've been through lots of courses, lots of coaching, different things. And it has made such a difference. Sometimes you just need someone to tell you, OK, look, do this and let's see. And then you can trust them to then give you that guidance to go and do those things and then see the benefit. Sometimes trying to think of what to do is the hardest thing. That's what I've always found. That's why I've always outsourced my personal development, my self-development, my growth internally as a person, because it's like, I'm going to trust you to, and I connect with you to give me guidance on what to do. I'm going to follow it. And then I'm going to see the results and it works. It does work, completely works. So I want to empower you to do the same. Yeah. So if you feel ready to step up, to live the life that you want, to boost your confidence, to really own it, to feel that fire like burning. You know, I spoke yesterday about that fire in the pit of your belly is your confidence. And if it is burning, raging, strong, vibrant flames, if you want that, let's do that because we can do that. And I am excited to do that, some of you. So all I want you to do, if you're intrigued by any of that, is to send me a message and let's jump on and awaken your confidence call. So it's a free one-to-one -one call. It's just a chat. I just want to get to know who you are, where you're at in life and what you want. We can talk and I can see if it's going to fit because it's not going to fit everyone. So I want to make sure that you're going to get the most out of it. So if I think it's a good fit for you, then we can go further in that. And there's different options with it. You know, there's VIP options and all sorts of things, but we'll save that for the call. So if you're intrigued, send me a message. We'll jump on a call completely like hassle for it I, I want you to get what you want out of life yeah so if it's right it's right if it's not it's not there is no pressure at all and any of you that have been to my physical workshops will know that you know my intention is to make you feel better to empower you to have the best life that you want and I will guide you the best I can so if that's to work with me amazing if that's to work with someone else amazing too I want you to get the best out of what you need right now and part of it is recognizing what you need right now which is part of the whole week so I'm excited. I'm excited. Right. There's one thing that I was just I was get, sort of getting ready for the live today. And I thought, you know what? I never do this. I do this for myself. I never, ever, ever do this. I've seen other people do it and I never do it. I really feel called cool to call a card. Oh, there's lots of C's in that. So these are the goddess guidance oracle cards. Now, I love goddess work. I've done a lot of goddess work, you know, goddess workshops. I've done like um initiation things and stuff i mean we into that but that's further down the line and i love goddesses because connecting with goddess energy is really really powerful it's really empowering it's embracing your femininity your womanhood to really be all that you can be oh and okay if you're intrigued send me a message for sure or i'll send you a message after this so goddess work is just beautiful i find it really really beautiful it's just really it makes you feel light, free and strong all at the same time. So I just felt really cool to call a card out today. 
Okay, there's a very evident card. I'm going to have to read it because I don't know these off by heart. So it's Sige, S-I-G-E, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is quiet time. Mm. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate and contemplate. How interesting after what I've been saying to you about taking time to realize what you want. You know, if you're intrigued by what's next, then come and talk to me. Like Anne-Marie, I'm super excited you're intrigued. Right, so I'm going to read the extra bit to you. So message from Sige, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Shush, dearest one, quiet your mind, breathe and let go of words, worry and plans. Go into that space of silence deep within you, that vortex of peace where the world doesn't enter. Now is the time to retreat in silence and spend some time alone. I'll lovingly help you rejuvenate and recenter yourself. Don't try to make any decisions now. Just allow your mind to be at rest. You'll know soon enough when it's time to take action. But for now, quiet your mind, rest. How nice is that? At the end of a challenge week, that's what you're given. That's what I was guided to pull that card. So it is recoup, go spend some time giving yourself some self-care. Remember day three, that was day three action. And really think, recoup and rest. And then all will be your so it's the end of the challenge. I'm so sad. It's the end. Like I say, if any of you are watching replay, hashtag replay, um, like and comment on the videos, take your actions from day one to four. If any of you are intrigued about the course, any work, then send me a message. Anne-Marie, I will send you a message. And if you've got any questions, you can post it in the group. You can send me a direct message. That is perfectly fine. I will be back next week. I'll pop on and do some lives because we've done a five day challenge. I'm not just going to leave you there. Remember, I'm going to be checking up on you next Thursday to make sure that you are twisting your thoughts from negative to positive. But I will pop in and do some other bits next week as well. If you've got any questions, like I say, send me a message and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. And like I say, if you want to know more about really stepping into yourself, really living, firing up that fire in your belly and being you, send me a message. I'll see you soon.